Hi, I'm Holly Collins, Coordinator of Parent and Family Engagement for the Fairfield Sassoon Unified School District. Welcome to 5 Minute Friday. Today I have Katie Conacondi, School Counselor and Girls Varsity Basketball Coach at Rodriguez High School with us to share some tips on how to take care of ourselves during this holiday season. Hey everyone, as Holly mentioned, my name is Katie Conacondi and I'm a school counselor and assistant girls varsity basketball coach at Rodriguez High School. The holiday season is in full swing and you may be feeling some holiday stress and fatigue along with some COVID fatigue. Individual circumstances and celebrations may look a little different this year, but no matter what may be going on, taking care of your mental and physical health should be top priority. Today, I'm going to share with you five tips to help manage your holiday stress and fatigue. Tip one, identify and acknowledge your feelings. The first step into managing your feelings is to identify and acknowledge them. Start by saying, I feel blank and that's okay. It's okay to not be okay. Once you identify these feelings and express them, then you can move forward with an action plan on how to process them. It is important to practice and model positive coping strategies such as acknowledging some positives in our life and participating in positive activities that help alleviate negative feelings. It is also important, especially with current circumstances, to allow others to express disappointment and other negative feelings because validating others' feelings and processing our own can allow for meaningful communication. Tip 2. Reach out. There may be times when you're feeling alone or isolated in your personal feelings or experiences, but you are never alone. Establish and reach out to your positive support system, whether it's a close friend, family member, religious or social group, etc. Schedule a virtual get together or simply converse via a phone call or a text conversation. The more we isolate ourselves, the deeper we can fall into negativity, stress or anxiety. Establishing and utilizing your support system will ensure that neither of you will ever have to try to process feelings and situations alone. If you find yourself struggling with more serious issues or have signs of depression that are affecting your ability to function, don't be afraid to seek professional help. You may feel embarrassed to ask for help or you think that you'll get over the blues on your own, but it's okay to talk to your doctor or mental health professional to seek counseling or other treatments that can help. Tip three, be realistic. Due to COVID and many other circumstances, the holiday season looks a lot different this year and that's okay. We are human, so we have the ability to adapt and press on. Part of adapting is being realistic. Start by assessing your financial situation, creating a budget, and resisting the pressure to buy the newest, most expensive gifts for others. Also be realistic with your traditions from gift giving to traveling to gatherings. If social and travel restrictions don't allow you to have traditional gatherings, Create a new tradition in which you can accomplish the same goal, such as scheduling a virtual meeting where you can still connect and share face-to-face time together. Lastly, practice saying no if you are unable to commit to requests. Around the holidays, we tend to overcommit and overextend for the sake of being charitable. Saying no is just as healthy for you as saying yes. Saying, I'm sorry, but I have plans, or I won't be able to do that this year, allows you to preserve your time and energy and helps you alleviate the feelings of stress, anxiety, and fatigue. Tip four, plan ahead. From planning your online shopping to your virtual celebrations, having a plan and sticking to it can not only alleviate stress, but also make you feel accomplished. Plan your holiday shopping strategically around your financial situation and potential delays in shipping. Many stores offer online ordering, curbside pickup or delivery directly to the recipient with gift receipts and wrapping by selecting that this is a gift option on checkout. This may require updating your address with, but that's a good thing. Sending virtual greeting and gift cards are also great options as all you need is your recipient's email address. Whatever it may be, do not wait until the last minute as gift giving requires a little bit more time in planning this year. When planning virtual holiday celebrations, send out the virtual meeting codes on your preferred platform early so your guests can make sure that their technology can support the meeting. Google Meets and Zoom are the most popular free platforms. Do a test run with a few friends or family members to ensure that your code will work the day of your celebration. Last but not least, tip five, continue healthy habits. Self-care, self-care, self-care. One of the biggest unhealthy habits we have in society is being consumed by the information culture and toxic comparison tendencies on social media. Overexposure to negative news and media can cause undue stress, so be aware of how much time you're spending on social media and or browsing the internet, how much it may be affecting you, and adjust your time accordingly. Also, be sure to take time for yourself, putting yourself first and participating in things that you enjoy, such as listening to music, taking a leisurely walk, or simply taking a short break away from others just to breathe and relax. Prioritize physical health by incorporating physical activity into your daily routine, eat healthy snacks and or holiday treats in moderation, and be sure to get plenty of sleep. To bolster mental health, you can practice mindfulness, meditation through deep breathing exercises, yoga, or simply give yourself some silent time to reflect. 
Thank you, Katie, for sharing all that great information with us today. I know I will definitely be trying some of the tips that you shared. I'd also like to share with you a mental health resource new to our district called Care Solace. Care Solace is an online resource with a live care concierge available 24-7 to guide families through the process of accessing mental health providers and resources. FSUSD has partnered with Care Solace to provide access to this service to all of our students, families, and staff at no cost. Visit our family resources page at www fsusd.org for more information. You can also learn all about Care Solace on our next episode of 5 Minute Friday, so be sure to click the subscribe button below so you'll be notified when the next episode is available. And of course, we've also included important information and links in the box below. I hope you all enjoy a stress-free holiday season, and be sure to join me next time on 5 Minute Friday.